The following footage was recovered by search and rescue teams after a harrowing attempt to locate five missing friends who vanished in the dense forests of Michigan. This is their story. Alex adjusted the camera, its lens capturing the eager faces of his friends gathered around the campfire. They were a diverse group, Jenna, Mike, Sarah, and Ethan together. They ran a YouTube channel called Cryptid Quest, and tonight, their ambition was set on one of the most elusive creatures in North American folklore, the Michigan Dogman. All right, everyone, smile, Alex said, his voice full of excitement. The group huddled together, their faces illuminated by the flickering firelight. Tonight, we're here in the heart of the Michigan wilderness, on the hunt for the legendary Dogman. If we get this footage, it'll be our biggest hit yet. Jenna rolled her eyes, but a smile tugged at her lips. I still think this is a wild goose chase, but I'm here for the ride. Mike nudged her playfully. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? This is going to be epic. Sarah, adjusting her glasses, chimed in. I've mapped out the area and set up motion sensors. If there's anything out there, we'll know. Ethan added, just as long as the dog man doesn't want to be our next subscriber. Laughter erupted, a brief respite from the growing tension. They had heard the legends from the locals in the nearby town. A towering beast with the body of a man and the head of a wolf lurking in the shadows, preying on the unwary. But legends were one thing, and they were determined to uncover the truth. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long, eerie shadows, the group set up their equipment. Cameras were positioned strategically around the campsite. Drones were readied for aerial views, and walkie-talkies were tested. Every step was methodical, driven by a mix of professionalism and the thrill of the unknown. All right, team, Alex said, taking charge. Let's get some B-roll footage before it gets too dark. They moved through the forest, capturing the dense foliage, the twisted branches, and the eerie stillness that seemed to settle over the woods as night approached. The atmosphere was heavy, each rustle of leaves or snap of a twig amplifying their unease. As night fell, the forest came alive with the sounds of nocturnal creatures. The group gathered around the fire again, reviewing the initial footage. It was then that they heard it, a distant howl low and mournful, sending chills down their spines. Did you hear that? Sarah whispered, her eyes wide. Mike nodded, his face serious for the first time. Could be a coyote. Or something else. They sat in tense silence, listening intently. Another howl echoed, closer this time. The fire crackled, the only source of light and warmth in the encroaching darkness. Let's set up the night vision cameras, Alex suggested, trying to keep his voice steady. We'll take turns keeping watch. The group moved with a newfound urgency, setting up the night vision cameras around the perimeter of their camp. Each of them took a turn peering into the pitch black forest, their imaginations running wild with what could be lurking just out of sight. Hours passed, and the initial excitement gave way to a creeping dread. Jenna, on her watch, caught sight of something moving between the trees. She strained her eyes, her heart pounding, but it was gone before she could focus the camera. Did you see something? Ethan asked, noticing her tension. I'm not sure, Jenna replied, her voice shaky. Could have been an animal, or maybe... Never mind. The group huddled closer to the fire, the sense of unease growing. They shared stories, trying to lighten the mood, but their laughter was hollow. Each of them felt it. The forest was watching them. As the night deepened, Sarah took her turn reviewing the footage. Her eyes widened as she spotted something. Two glowing eyes reflecting in the camera's night vision, just beyond the edge of their camp. Guys, come look at this. She called out, her voice trembling. The group gathered around the screen, staring in disbelief. There. Clear as day were the eyes, unblinking, watching them. What the hell is that? Mike muttered, his bravado slipping. It's probably just an animal, Jenna said, though her voice lacked conviction. Whatever it is, it's close, Alex said, his mind racing. 
We need to stay vigilant. The howls grew louder, closer, each one sending waves of fear through the group. They sat in silence, clutching their cameras and flashlights, every shadow a potential threat. The first night in the Michigan wilderness was far from the adventure they had imagined. Instead, it was a night of terror, a prelude to the horrors that awaited them as they continued their hunt for the Michigan Dogman. Morning broke with a heavy fog that clung to the forest floor, muting the light and casting the world in a cold, gray gloom. Alex and Jenna stared at the blurry footage from the previous night, the glowing eyes still fresh in their minds. The group was silent, their initial bravado replaced by a tense, watchful fear. We have to keep moving, Alex said, breaking the uneasy quiet. We can't let one scare drive us off. This could be our big break. Mike nodded, though his usual enthusiasm was dampened. Right, let's cover more ground. We'll split up. Jenna, Ethan, and I will head north. Sarah, you and Alex check the eastern trail. Sarah adjusted her backpack, glancing nervously at the dense trees. Stay in contact. If anything feels wrong, call immediately. With a final check of their gear, the group split. Walkie-talkies crackling with brief reassurances. The forest seemed to close in around them, the fog swallowing the trail behind them. The northward path was narrow, overgrown with thorny bushes that scratched at their legs. Mike led the way, his eyes scanning the underbrush for signs of movement. Jenna followed closely, her skepticism giving way to a growing sense of dread. Ethan, usually the group's source of levity, was unusually quiet, his camera ready in case they stumbled upon something. Hours passed with only the sounds of their footsteps and the occasional call of a distant bird. Then, as they crossed a small clearing, they found the first sign of something unnatural. Claw marks gouged deep into a tree, the wood still fresh and bleeding sap. Jesus, Mike whispered, running a hand over the marks. These are huge. Could it really be? Jenna shook her head, trying to keep her voice steady. Maybe a bear. We should... A sudden rustle cut her off. Ethan spun, his camera aimed at the source of the noise. The bushes parted, and for a split second, they glimpsed something large and dark darting away. Did you get that? Jenna asked, her voice rising. Ethan nodded, his face pale. I think so. Let's keep moving. As they pushed on, the forest seemed to grow darker, the fog thicker. Every crack of a branch, every rustle of leaves set their nerves on edge. They were being watched. Of that, they were certain. As they ventured deeper into the woods, the atmosphere became suffocating. The air was thick with the scent of decay, and the ground was littered with bones and scraps of fur. The group's nervous banter had died down, replaced by an oppressive silence. They came across an old, dilapidated cabin, half hidden by the encroaching forest. The windows were shattered and the door hung loosely on its hinges. Despite their fear, curiosity pulled them closer. Maybe we should check it out, Mike suggested, his voice barely a whisper. Ethan nodded, though Jenna hesitated. I don't know, guys. This feels wrong. Ignoring her, Mike pushed the door open with a creak. Inside, the cabin was a scene from a nightmare. The walls were covered in deep claw marks, and the floor was strewn with animal bones. A foul stench permeated the air, making them gag. This place is seriously messed up, Ethan said, filming the interior. We need to get out of here. As they turned to leave, a sudden noise from outside made them freeze. Heavy footsteps, accompanied by low, guttural growls. They exchanged terrified glances, realizing they were not alone. We need to move. Now, Mike hissed, pushing them toward the back door. They burst out into the open, only to find themselves face to face with a towering figure. The creature stood on two legs, its body covered in matted fur, its eyes glowing with a malevolent intelligence. It was the Dogman, and it was blocking their escape. Run! Mike screamed, but Ethan stood rooted to the spot, his camera still rolling. 
The dogman lunged at Ethan with a terrifying speed. Ethan let out a blood-curdling scream as the creature's claws tore into him, dragging him into the forest. Mike and Jenna ran, their breaths ragged, the sounds of Ethan's screams echoing in their ears until they were abruptly cut off. They didn't stop running until they were sure the creature was no longer following them. Panting and terrified, they collapsed to the ground, their minds struggling to process what had just happened. We have to find Alex and Sarah, Jenna gasped, tears streaming down her face. Ethan's gone. We can't do this alone. Meanwhile, Alex and Sarah followed the eastern trail, their steps cautious and deliberate. The forest here was denser, the trees older and gnarled. They found more strange signs, bones scattered in odd patterns, and symbols carved into tree trunks that neither could recognize. This is getting weird, Sarah muttered, adjusting her glasses. I've seen these symbols before, but I can't remember where. Alex frowned, taking pictures of the carvings. We should document everything. If this is some kind of warning or ritual, it might explain the dogman sightings. As they ventured deeper, the forest grew eerily silent. The usual sounds of wildlife were absent, replaced by an oppressive quiet that weighed heavily on them. Alex felt his skin prickle, an instinctual fear taking hold. Let's check in with the others, he suggested, reaching for his walkie-talkie. Mike, Jenna, Ethan. Do you copy? Static answered him, followed by a brief garbled response. Then Mike's voice broke through, frantic and filled with static. Something's... attacking. Lost Ethan. Need help. Sarah's eyes widened. We have to find them. Now. They turned back, moving as quickly as they could without losing their way. The forest seemed to shift around them, paths that were clear moments before now obscured by thick underbrush. Panic set in as they struggled to navigate. Mike and Jenna stumbled through the forest, breathless and terrified. Ethan was gone, taken by something that moved too fast for them to see clearly. They found only his camera, lying on the ground, its screen cracked but still recording. Jesus! What was that thing? Mike panted his hands shaking. Jenna's eyes were wide with fear. I don't know. We have to get out of here. But as they turned to leave, the forest erupted with noise. Something large crashed through the underbrush, heading straight for them. They ran, their breath ragged, hearts pounding. The sounds of pursuit were relentless, the growls and snarls growing closer. Alex and Sarah finally broke through the underbrush, finding Mike and Jenna in the middle of a clearing. They were panting, their faces pale and terrified. Where's Ethan? Alex asked, but one look at Jenna's face told him everything. Something took him, Mike said, his voice shaky. We need to get out of here. As they regrouped, the growls grew louder, surrounding them. The cameras picked up flickers of movement, dark shapes darting between the trees, circling closer. We're not alone, Sarah whispered, her eyes wide with fear. The group huddled together, their flashlights and cameras their only defense against the encroaching darkness. The growls turned to roars, the ground trembling under the weight of something massive moving towards them. Then, the dogman stepped into the light, a towering figure with the body of a man and the head of a wolf, its eyes glowing with a malevolent intelligence. It growled a sound that reverberated through the clearing, freezing them in place. Run! Alex shouted, but it was too late. The dogman lunged, and chaos erupted. The cameras captured the frenzied scene, Mike fighting back with a branch, Sarah screaming as she tried to pull Jenna to safety, Alex swinging his flashlight wildly. The dogman moved with terrifying speed, its claws and teeth flashing in the dim light. Alex swung his flashlight with all his might, the beam catching the creature in its glowing eyes for a split second. But the brief respite only served to highlight the sheer terror of their situation. The creature was relentless, a nightmare given flesh and bone. Run! Alex screamed again, grabbing Sarah's hand and pulling her towards the thick underbrush. Mike and Jenna followed, their breaths ragged, adrenaline the only thing keeping them moving. They crashed through the forest, branches whipping at their faces, roots threatening to trip them with every step. The dogman's roars echoed behind them, a constant reminder that it was never far away. 
Sarah stumbled, her ankle twisting painfully, but Alex hauled her up, refusing to let her fall behind. We can't keep this up, Jenna panted, glancing over her shoulder. We need to find somewhere to hide. Mike nodded, his face pale with fear. There was a cave, back near the creek. We can try to lose it there. With a desperate plan in mind, they changed direction, heading towards the creek they had crossed earlier. The sound of rushing water grew louder, a beacon in the oppressive darkness. But so did the dogman's growls, closer now, almost upon them. They burst into the clearing by the creek, the moonlight casting eerie shadows on the water. The cave entrance loomed ahead, a dark maw in the side of the hill. Without hesitation, they plunged into its depths, the cool air of the cave a stark contrast to the humid forest. Inside, the darkness was complete. Alex fumbled for his flashlight, the beam revealing jagged rocks and uneven ground. They pressed deeper into the cave, hoping the narrow passage would slow the dogman down. Keep moving, Mike urged, his voice a harsh whisper. We need to find a place to barricade ourselves. As they navigated the treacherous terrain, the sounds of pursuit faded slightly. The cave's twists and turns offered a brief respite, but the danger was far from over. They found a small alcove, partially hidden by a fallen boulder. It was barely large enough for all of them, but it would have to do. Everyone, quiet, Alex whispered, his breath coming in gasps. Maybe it won't find us here. They huddled together their bodies trembling with fear and exhaustion. The silence was oppressive, broken only by the distant drip of water and their own ragged breathing. Minutes stretched into an eternity as they waited, every nerve on edge. Then, a low growl echoed through the cave, sending chills down their spines. The dogman was inside, searching for them. The sound of its claws scraping against the rock was a grim reminder of their precarious situation. Please, don't let it find us, Sarah whispered, clutching Alex's arm. But the dogman was relentless. It sniffed the air, following their scent with a terrifying precision. The group could hear it moving closer, the growls growing louder, more menacing. Stay quiet, Alex mouthed, his eyes wide with fear. But the dogman was too close. It rounded the corner, its glowing eyes piercing the darkness. There was no escape. With a roar, the dogman lunged. Mike, in a desperate attempt to protect the others, threw himself at the creature, wielding a jagged rock. The dogman swatted him aside with terrifying ease, its claws slicing through flesh and bone. Mike! Jenna screamed, but her voice was drowned out by the creature's roar. The alcove became a scene of chaos. Alex and Sarah tried to fight back, but the dogman was too strong, too fast. Claws flashed in the darkness, and the cave echoed with screams and the sickening sound of tearing flesh. Jenna, cornered, grabbed the camera in a last-ditch effort to document their final moments. The lens captured the dogman in all its horrific glory. Towering, monstrous, a vision of pure terror. Blood splattered the cave walls as it tore through them, one by one. The footage ended abruptly, the camera falling to the ground, its lens cracked but still recording the sounds of the slaughter. The last image was of Jenna, her eyes wide with horror before the dogman silenced her scream. The search and rescue team watching the footage could only imagine the horrors that had unfolded. The cave, now silent, held the gruesome remains of the group, a stark reminder of the dangers that lurked in the Michigan wilderness. The legend of the Michigan Dogman was no longer just a story. It was a nightmare, and it had claimed five more victims. The forest remained a place of fear and mystery. The truth of what happened to Alex, Jenna, Mike, Sarah, and Ethan lost to the shadows. The recovered footage was a grim testament to their final descent into terror, a warning to all who dared to seek out the unknown. The Michigan Dogman was real, and it was still out there, waiting for its next prey.